coming out of a power set. As Watson turns, fakes the handoff. He keeps the ball around the corner. He is wrapped up by a number of Rocket defenders. 33, the Zebras will still elect to go for it from the Rocket 40-yard line. As Watson rolls out, he steps up. He's wrapped up and taken down at the 40. Single back with Hartman. He's been a big ball carrier so far. He takes oh. a snap, and that's actually 28. Damon Powers works nice. his way. And while we break in the action, again, like to thank the Houghton and Aegis team. So if you were thinking about selling your home or looking to purchase a new home, contact former Rocket and Wayne Memorial teacher Matt Houghton. He is from the Houghton Aegis team of Keller Williams Real Realty Livingston. He can be reached at 734-812-5660 or look them up on the web. Again, that's the Houghton Aegis team at 734-812-5660. Wetmore hands the Powers across the right-hand side. Appeared he slipped but cuts up field. Continues Still to run going. as he works through some defenders. The play today as they take over on downs. First down and 10 from their own 42-yard line. As Watson hands the ball off inside. Watson under center. He turns and hands to Steverson across the right-hand side. Oh, nice stick right there. He does take a hard I'd like to thank M&D Concrete. So if you need a new driveway or sidewalk, your porch needs to be replaced, or maybe you're even looking for a stamped concrete patio, contact former Rocket Michael Cash of M&D Concrete at 734-621-3197 or find them on Facebook to find some amazing concrete work. Again, that's M&D Concrete servicing all of your concrete needs, 734-621-3197. So Watson returns under center, back to this three-back power set. He fakes the handoff and rolls out. He had a man open, unable to make the connection. So back to the power set here for the Zebras. Again, looking to throw their rolling out as the penalty flag comes down. And Watson is quick. So Watson back under center, turns hands to Steverson across the right side. He has running room. Works And while we pause for the timeout, again, like to he thank Henry Service Center. And Henry Service Center has been proudly serving Wayne since 1964. No matter what the problem is, their professional ASC certified technicians always provide exceptional automotive services. They do everything from general repairs and brake service to oil changes and batteries. Their friendly, passionate staff has over 110 years of experience in the auto repair industry, and they work hard to get your car back on the road faster than any other shop in town. Henry's Service Center is located at 3041 South Wayne Road in Wayne, or give them a call at 734-721-8721. And they return back to the power set. As they fake the handoff to Staverson, Watson keeps the ball inside. Here's he will gain power set. Watson hands the ball inside to Callaway. He's quickly wrapped up and knocked backwards. As Wetmore rolling out all the way, looking for time. a man, looking for a man. Pass complete to LaCour, past the 30-yard line. They turn in hand, staying conservative here. Here's, as they again return to this power set. They got nine up for the, for the Rockets. All right, they stuffed him. <laughs> Nine guys up in the box again for the Rockets. And they fake the handoff. Again, launching a deep ball. Intended for Harris Rush. That will be it. Oh, in. Oh. Should have been in. Left side. He has running room. He's got an alley. He cuts it back upfield. Makes a man miss. Finally brought down inside the 40-yard line. So the Hurry up offense. So Wetmore back to pass. He's looking all the way, facing Lots pressure, pressure. Rolling to his left. He finds a man complete at the sideline. The handoff, he's rolling out, stepping up, avoiding pressure. He makes his way inside the 25. It in, Working towards it. 20. He has running room across the right to the 10. Moore wisely throwing that ball where only Carter has a chance to catch it. So while not very efficient, not much risk taken either. Oh, Carter's open again out there. Power set. Three running backs in the backfield. As they hand the ball inside to the fullback, number four, Callaway. So Watson back under center. He will turn and hand the ball off to Staverson across the left side. He has some running room to the outside. He's tripped up but able to stay on his feet. As we see Korzetki come to the other side of the formation. 
Handoff goes inside to Callaway. Quick inside trap play, good for a gain of two. Third down, four yards to go for the Zebras offense. Again, out of this power set, three running backs. Hands off, goes to Callaway. He's quickly stopped in the backfield. We'll see what the Rockets can do here following the penalty as Wetmore takes the snap. He's rolling to his left, looking for a man, throws over the middle, complete, nice slide. So over half the third quarter already gone. As Watson returns under center, hands off to Callaway inside. He fights his way for a game from the four yard line. Handoff goes inside to Callaway, wrapped up quickly, ball comes out! It is open, oh, a Rockets up! As Wetmore takes the snap, he's looking for Hartman all the way, Hartman's open, oh, he makes open. the catch, out past midfield, tries to make a man. Line at the 39, as Wetmore lines up quickly, hands off inside, running room! That is Damon Powers, check that Jamar Cooney into the end! Many thanks to Don Halley from Wayne Memorial for providing us halftime stats. As Watson keeps the ball in the court well tonight. And we'll look for them to step up here and shut down this Zebra's run game as the handoff goes to Harris Rush. He's quickly wrapped up in the backfield. He's driven backwards with no running. They will hand the ball off inside. He is wrapped up. Helmet comes off, but no running room for ball the Zebra's. The Number two, Jaden Hines, senior out here wide for the Rockets. Hartman with a nice tough run inside. Checks back in. Check that. Make that cootie. As Wetmore's back to throw, throwing over the oh, middle. He's got the court open. Court. Caught. Yes. Nice concentration. So after a. Let's see if we can poke one in here. And let's hope they can capitalize, as you mentioned, Ray. As Wetmore fakes the handoff, rolling nice out pass action. complete. Nice tap. Wetmore again back to pass. He's stepping up, scrambling. He throws deep. Has oh, a man wide open. open. He is caught. Penalty flag is down. Complete to Hartman. Hartman has some running room, makes his way past the original line of scrimmage, stays on his feet, past the first down, Markham to the 10, 5, dives for the pylon! They will line up in a power set here, two running backs, and they will run a toss play to the left side. Cootie has some running room, making his way towards the end zone. In. We'll see what they have in store as Deverson comes in motion on the jet sweep. He's wrapped up, unable to be taken down. Works his way near the line of scrimmage where he will be. Oh, I think you need to keep that nine man in the box look going. Dare them to throw. Here's the Zebras are going to try to run the ball here. Keeping it off the left side. Stout deep. Watson hands the ball inside again. Quickly wrapped up is Callaway. See if the Zebras keep it on the ground or dial up something in the passing game. Handoff goes to Stefferson across the right. Quickly wrapped up again by that Rockets defense. He's driven backwards. Break free on play action pass a few times. We'll see what they dial up here. And they fake the handoff. He'll keep it. Watson will. Appeared he had running room, but wrapped up by the oh, make a man miss. Edge. Powers has room. Past the 20, inside the 15, to the 10, where he's wrapped up. Still on his feet, inside the 5, reaching towards the first down and goal from the 12-yard line. Wetmore takes the snap, tosses inside to LaCourt on a tricky little play. He works his way towards the goal line, into the end zone. Touch. To make him score not only a touchdown, but make the extra point. Oh, fake. And it appears a fake. The high snap may have forced it. Throws towards the end zone. Pass caught by LaCourt. There's six guys up front here for the Rockets, so they will send a little bit of pressure. Get some pressure. And Shelby is wrapped up. Has to get the ball away. He is sacked. And the clock will end. We have come to the end of the game. John Glenn has won the game. A very strange sequence of events. It appears when Wayne was sacked, players were walking back. No urgency to get back to the line of scrimmage. Dylan Scott, the tackle of the game. And that's going to bring the 15th consecutive city championship to John Glenn and their Rockets. Ray, as you mentioned, 15 consecutive victories and the all elusive first victory of the season for the Rockets. Valiant effort by the Zebras. They played hard, played right to the last, to the last whistle. A tremendous rivalry game we got to see tonight, Ray. And that trophy will stay home with the Rockets one more year. On three, we have the City Championship Trophy coming back home to John Glenn. Boz doing the double camera. Uh, Boz wasn't able to come work today, so we put uh, Nick Zizi on the uh, sideline camera. Great job, guys. Without you guys, to be able to work it. And a huge thank you to everyone who stuck with us throughout this entire football game. We will be back in action next Friday night as the Rockets will face their crossover game. So opponent currently unknown.
but we will post that information online as soon as it becomes available. Again, next Friday night, 7 o'clock, we will be at John Glenn High School. Again, your final score from Way Memorial tonight. John Glenn 22, Way Memorial 14, as the Rockets once again are city champions. A jubilant Rockets sideline. They salute their fans. Always exciting to see those players get to celebrate with their parents, friends, family, all that on the sideline. As tough a season this has been for the Rockets, a great moment to see them to be able to celebrate, as I mentioned, with their friends, family, classmates. A huge weight off the shoulder, huge sigh of relief. Rockets finally in the win column this season.